I was able to slide the wing on and got it going. Another thing that I just realized that concerned me is this slipped on very easily. And from everything I've read, these things are supposed to be a biatch to get it off and on. But I got a fair amount of play in mind. So I don't know what to do about that. I mean, it's not screwed down at all, but I'm getting it pretty well. This is the this is the left wing, but I have it on the, this is the port wing, but I have it on the starboard side. Um, I'm not going to flip the airplane around tonight just for that. But uh, from the other video, I was worried about where those marks end up, and I can feel right across the top there at the very tip or very top of the spar. And now I can't find them. Where are they at? Oh. Here, right here. So, they're at the very tip. There's the other one. And like I say, they're coming down. And it's at the very top. I don't know if you can see them or not if I zoom in. But they're at the very top. And there's the inside, what that looks like. And see. I mean, I enter. I'm going to. I'll. I'll see, so if you look at the other spar. So here's one of the exact same thing. I got one of these little divots here. And there's more. That's just the biggest. That's just one that's laying out right in front of me. So, for whatever reason. I don't know if those if those uh, hose clamps were gouging into something, but I don't know what the hell would be. Maybe they were in there cutting something. Maybe this is maybe when they're trying to get the original fiberglass crap off to reskin it. You know, maybe they got in there with the sawzall or something and screwed it up. But I guess it's um um unsh um. 60% sure. I mean, I already got a quote. The um, 10 foot in 2021, the 10 foot, uh, what is it, 60, whatever it is, the six out the, the new spars are 700 bucks each. So it would cost me 1400 bucks for 10 footers, or if I wanted to get the 12 footers, that's a thousand each. And from what I understood, it would just go ahead and slip right over my center section, so that wouldn't be a problem as long as my center section's in spec. And that's something I'm gonna need to need to uh, measure. I'll see if I can borrow some dial calipers from school, but uh, um, not dial calipers, uh, micrometers, because I know they have some six inches and some eight inches, and so I'll have to get a accurate measurement on that. But uh, if I wanted a 12 foot wing. Then that's a thousand dollars for the new six thousand for the new spars, or uh, they don't sell the uh, old spars in, in twelve foot only the new spars. The old spars were ten foot, and then if you wanted to, you would have this little extension. So I don't know if I could keep buy the t you know save save a little bit of money buy the uh, new spar ten foot, and then I have two feet of good good spar I mean I you know from like here over is good this is more than two feet so I might be able to save some you know save some of this and even here this is two foot easy you know if I just chop that off and I can get 12 foot wings with the mix of the old and the new I mean I want to save some money but I also don't want my goddamn wing to snap in half because of these hobos you know, not knowing how to take off freaking fiberglass panels. So, like I said, I got to think about this for a day or two. Maybe call the factory, find out what's up, talk to uh, some some other mechanics, see what they say. But I mean, I'm a foot away, and you can see that scratch. That's a biggie. And my camera doesn't want to focus because of the light. Uh, so that's where we're at now. Conundrums abound. Um, in the meantime, while that's getting sorted out, I'm going to go ahead and start on the uh, 
I got to rebuild the spar, the um, ailerons and flaps because I have no documentation on that. So that's going to be something I'm going to document me doing. So I'm going to order parts for that and hopefully, please, dear Lord, let these 12 foot long spars be good or um, tubes be good. Something has to be good on this airplane. I mean, the spars are really disappointing. The wing is disappointing me. Hopefully something else will work out. So that's the plan for now. Uh, work on the ailerons and flaps. Hopefully we can get those done and then um, get into a uh, decision on what to do with these wings because this wings are really the only thing that are holding me up. I mean, without wings and fuel tanks and all that good crap, I, you know, running wires, running, running fuel lines, etc. Everything else I think will go pretty quick once I figure out what to do with these. So... Alright, bonus video for the day, two, two versus one.